Right, so today I'm going to review a new bike that I've got. I have gone and purchased a new bike, I've come off my restricted period so I can ride whatever I want now. There's no power restrictions, no power to weight, no too many cylinders, no too many this, no, no restrictions, I can buy whatever I want, ride whatever I want. So, in saying that, I have gone a bit more conservative. I haven't gone the full 1000cc Jixxer Super Sport blah blah blah. I've decided I need a bike that can do me good every day of the week. And this is it. The Yamaha FZ6. 2006 model, burgundy red I think. 400, sorry, 4 cylinder 600cc motor. Mm. Yeah, this is it. I love it. It's got a few little things on it. Um, I put a, a pug. I don't know how you say it. Pug? What does it say there? Pug or Puig? I have no fucking idea. But it's pug racing windshield. Got that. Looks a bit better. Bit, bit better aero. I put that on myself. Came with knobs. Oggy knobs. That's good. It's got a rack. I haven't got the, the big one in there at the moment, but... You know, I've got it in pretty much 99% of the time when I'm um, going to work and stuff. Oh, hello. People in Yeah, I've got it out at the moment because it's a bit less, a uh, bit, bit more sporty. But yeah, here it is. You know, it's really good. Let's go for a ride. Let's get my tank back. So why did I, why did I get this bike? You know, what, what made me decide to get this bike? Well, a few things I guess. You know, like I said, it's, um, it's a really good day-to-day -day bike. You know, like, I hate to say it, but, you know, my little 250 double R, that was just a little bit too intense for day-to-day. -day. So, you know, it was super fun, really good up the mountains. You know, good, good to hang out with your mates, you know, on that bike, because they all loved it. You know, it's really loud and <laughs> sounds amazing, but, you know, like, you can't live with that every day, you know, it's... You gotta, you gotta have something that you can, you can relax on. You, if, if it's the only bike you got, you know, uh, I, th I just think that you need something that, you know, you can, you can live with. Especially, you know, it's just for me, you know, like I've, I can only afford one bike at the moment in my current financial situation. So, you know, I've, uh, I've gone the conservative. It's, I wouldn't say it's too conservative though. It's not like I've gone the cruiser or something old and boring. It's still fucking fast <laughs> compared to what I'm used to. You know, so, uh, what do they, I think, what do they have on, you know, the specs? 73 kilowatts or something and 66 newton meters of torque. You know, that doesn't sound like too much, but um, for the road, it's so much. You don't need any more than that. You really don't. You know, it's, I guess, you know, it's a really good motor in this thing. It's, a, you know, the detuned R6 motor is what they say anyway. So I don't know how true that is. I don't know if, you know, they've got all the same parts in it and then I've just, you know, wound back the timing in the computer a little bit. But, you know, from what I can tell, it's reliable. It's fast. What's this going to do? Uh, it uh, sounds good. I haven't got an exhaust on it, but um, I do like the, the note of the engine. Jump across here. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, it's uh, got a really good motor, solid. It's supposed to be bulletproof, as they say. Um, I've got no complaints about the motor at all. How's it handle? It's uh, certainly a heavier bike than what I came from. You know, I came from the 250 double R, which is, what do they say, 140 kilograms wet. Whereas this thing is supposed to be 215 kilograms wet. So a bit of a jump in the uh, weight department for my, my bike, but you know, it, 
you get, at first it's like, oh, yeah, this is a big bike, you know, especially in car parks and slow speed situations. It's like, oh, fuck, you know, like, how are we going to balance this? How are we going to keep the throttle going to, you know, keep it moving and everything? You can't just, like, chuck it around. But, you know, I've had it for a few months now, and I've, it's, it's good now. It's fine. <laughs> I, I really like the, the upright position. Sometimes, you know, I want to, like, get a bit more down low, but it's a... It's a perfectly, perfectly fine trade-off for the comfort and the the uh, endurance I get out of it. You know, on the super sports here, especially when you're in traffic and stuff, and you're not driving, you're not riding the way you want to. You um, you get a bit tired. <laughs> they um, they're not, you know, they're not exhausting. It's not like it's bloody riding a push bike or something. But um, yeah, it's just a bit, a bit more fatigue than what I wanted from uh, you know, my basic form of uh, transport. So you know, now I've got this. It's um yeah, it's really good. Let's see if I can get through. Front wheel does come up when you pin it in first. When it gets see like there's torque down the bottom of the red range. So, you know, you got the torque for overtaking traffic and getting out of places pretty easily, so that's that's fantastic. Then there's a little bit of a flat spot, um, you know, up to about 7,000 revs, and that's when the power starts really coming on. And it's a lot of power. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not the fastest bike, but... It uh, definitely has the most usable power, I think, that I've ridden in, well, can, for what I've ridden anyway, you know. It's, it's, from what I can tell, you know, it's pretty much the best of both worlds. It's got that up, up top sort of four cylinder power, which is, which I love, and it's got that down low sort of grunt from a two cylinder or a three cylinder. So, I really like the, the engine and the way the power is delivered and so forth. So how does it, how does it handle? Um, oh, I got off track a bit, didn't I? So anyway, how does it handle? So yeah, it's a heavier bike, but um, you know, the power makes up for it, it's all good, you get used to it. It's still pretty nimble for all the other, you know, sport tourers. I've heard it's a bit more nimble than the, the Jixer equivalent, the GSSF, F, GSXXF, I think it's called, 600. I've heard they're a bit slow and sluggish and just, uh, yeah, just a little bit behind the mark for what I wanted. Then there's the Kawasaki equivalents, equivalents the 650s. Oh, a friend of mine's got one of them. They're, they're really good. You know, I just wanted a four-cylinder, so, you know, I you know, decided to hop out of it. But, um, yeah, they're really good. The 650s, they, um, they've, got, they've, they've got good power. Not, not as much as this, but... Um, and they're, they're a lot lighter, though. They definitely feel a lot lighter and a lot more um, small. So, depends what you want. But, um... This thing, this thing, it's very enjoyable. I'll say that. It's just, <laughs> it's not, it's not hard on you. You know, it's gives you a little bit of fun. Brakes of brakes are great. Like pretty much all sporty sort of bikes, new bikes these days. You know the. Suspension, the front forks are a little bit squishy. The guy that I got it off, he, um, you know, he likes the 10 weight oil for the shocks. But um, I'll be changing that as soon as I can. There's some 15 weight. The rear shock, uh, you know, I'm no suspension guru, so I wouldn't know probably what's a, what a, a good rear shock is, but you know, I don't have any complaints. It seems to be stiff enough for what I do with it. Stiff and soft, so yeah. I was going to say about this thing, you know, fuel efficiency, I get about 250 k's out of, uh, you know, combined driving, so, you know, that's a bit of city, a bit of flogging, a bit of highway, you know, depending on where I'm going, work and friends and whatnot, uni, so, you know, for, for what sort of power you get out of it, which is phenomenal, it's very livable with 250 k's. 
sure if I got some power commander or something, I'd probably get a, you know, a bit more out of it, a bit less fuel, a bit more timing, but you know, I'm not too fussed. I think I reckon if you know if I decide I want more power out of out of a bike, I'll just go buy a faster bike. You know, it's not like with cars where you can just slap on a turbo or you know do this and that, bigger intercoolers and whatnot, add more boost. It's not like that. Bikes are pretty limited in the power you're going to get out of them unless you do like super major reworkings of them. And who has time for that? So what else is there? It's um, you know, the sound exhaust. What I heard, it's, well, you know, it's it's not the greatest sounding thing, but it's quiet. It's not fumy, it's got a catalytic converter. I like the position, I've always, you know, I came from that the super sport position. And I got used to that after a while, but you know this this thing, this position is fine for going fast. You know, it's not the best for up the mountains, but you know, just for some casual stuff, perfectly fine. For going to work, amazing. For going traveling, then I went up to the Sunshine Coast, so that's about an hour and a half ride. It was the the position, the seating position, and handlebar position. That that was all great, but the one thing that did hold this thing back in touring is the uh, aerodynamics of it all. This windshield that they have up until the 2006, which is I've got the 2006. The windshield isn't designed for touring. I will say that. It's not designed for touring. They didn't have that in mind. That is, it's just a basic sort of windshield. You know, I've gone ahead and put the uh, the, race, the, the windshield, this upgraded windshield onto it because I wanted a bit more aerodynamic protection. It hasn't improved it too much. I still get a fair bit of wind on my neck and it does throw me around a lot. You know, on the, when you get above 100 k's, you know, it does sort of, you know, throw your head around a little bit. So maybe, maybe I just need to get a heavier helmet or a stronger neck. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, like the 2007 models onwards, they have really good windshields, uh, upgraded cluster as well, so you can see the um, the speedo a little bit better. So that's that's good. You know, as far as looks go, I don't think it's a uh, I think it's a fine looking bike. You know, I when I was making my decision, you know, I wasn't thinking I have to get a bike that looks like the hottest sex you've ever had. <laughs> I thought, you know, if I do that, I'll choose something that isn't right for me. You know, well they say you got to ride the bike, see if it would, see if it fits you. If it fits you, you buy it. You know, as long as it looks right. You know, it's, maybe it's a good analogy for uh, for women as well. You know, <laughs> you got to find one, find one that fits you, and then determine if she's hot or not, or if she's acceptable in the looks department. What are these guys doing? Let's turn right down here. So, so as far as I can tell, I've made a really good purchase. For me anyway, I mean, I, I don't know what it would be like for you, but you know, if you want a bike that's, that's fast, that's efficient, does everything you, does, for me, it does everything I want, you know, good comfortable bike that gets you around. You don't, I don't need a car too much because I've got the rack on the back now, so, you know, I save a lot of money, like, with that. It's fast, it's fun, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, really. You know. Besides, besides the windshield fact, you know, just get one that's from 2007 onwards. These bikes are good for a sport tourer. They're definitely good. Oh yeah, that was that was the one other thing I was going to say. I, I compared this to a CVR 600 F4i, so it was. I think they had a they have a double R 600 double R motor, but their handlebars are just a little bit higher, and they're I think they're also tuned for more more of the uh, the touring sort of perspective. Yeah, I compared it to, I wrote, I wrote this and uh, the, the uh, F4i back to back, see how they were. I like the way it felt, it didn't, no, I felt like it would have fit a smaller person, it was more hunched over. And that would have been good for, you know, riding fast and everything, but, yeah. It's not what I was after, I wanted something I could live with. 
I think every day I could ride and be like, yeah, that's fun, that's easy. You know, my life comes first, not the bike. So anyway, I uh, give you a summary of this vehicle. It's really nice, really fast, really easy. You know, good fuel economy. Well, not too bad for the power you get. Okay, yeah, you put a rack on the back, really easy. Let's say on the, on the type of bike it is, it's not really hard to say, it's, it is smack bam in the middle between sport and touring. You know, I wouldn't say it's the greatest touring, it's not the greatest sport bike, so it does, it does both reasonably well. You know, you go up a trip up the coast or something, and not hate yourself. You can uh, go up the mountains and hit it a little bit. You just have to use your legs a bit more to get around corners instead of punching over and punching down with your arms. So, yeah, that takes something, some getting used to. Yeah, that's it. Adios, muchachos.